Hi, this is Anthony Grino with a video review on Firefox 21. Mozilla updates its Firefox internet browser approximately once every six weeks, and the latest Firefox 21 version was released on May 14, 2013. So what's new in Firefox 21? Well, there are a few new features in the stable release, so I'll list them down and then cover these in a little more detail. Uh, well, first of all, the social API, first introduced in 2012, now supports several other providers. The do not track feature introduced in version 4 has been enhanced. Another new feature is suggestions that Firefox users will receive to improve browser startup time. Firefox Health Report was implemented to help optimize overall browser performance. There are a few enhancements for developers and HTML5 improvements as well. And over 650 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities were implemented. To review all these bug fixes, you can visit the bug fixes page, uh, which you will find in the description section of this YouTube video. So in terms of the social API feature, um, it was first introduced in late 2012 with Firefox being the first social integration partner and Firefox 21 now supports more sites like MSN Now, Clicks, Mixi and more to follow. Once this feature is activated you will see the social activity of your friends in the right side bar of your browser and in order to activate this feature um, you will have to visit the social API site for the partner. For example, this is uh, the site for the MSN Now, and you basically just click this um, Turn It On button to activate it. Other enhancements um, include the Do Not Track feature, which allows users to opt out of behavioral ad tracking while browsing websites. Um, this was the older version. Um, but this one option and um, the Firefox 21 version now includes um, three options namely um, you know tell sites that I do not want to be tracked tell sites that I want to be tracked and do not tell sites anything about my tracking preferences uh, this provides you know more control for users so I like it in terms of the new health report or Firefox Health Report, um, it will help optimize um, you know, overall browser performance and Firefox collects data like operating system uh, being used, uh, PC or Mac version of the Firefox um, being used, uh, add-ons being used, uh, etc. It does not collect any data um, that can identify the user or like the IP address or the websites visited, uh, the history and things like that. The default is opted in. Um, so in case you want to opt out, you have to uncheck this box. If you have opted in uh, to the Firefox report or health report, um, you can check to see you know how the Firefox browser is performing uh, to be effective Mozilla uh, suggests that uh, you know you have opted in for at least 14 days and to access the report you basically click on the Firefox um, on Firefox right up top and uh, click the help and uh, Firefox uh, health report and um, you will then see a report that looks similar to this um, it's just been a day since I opted in, so there's not much information here. But in this section right up, up here, uh, you'll receive any tips to improve your browser performance. Um, I also ran a Peacekeeper uh, benchmark browser test after app, uh, you know, upgrading to the Firefox 21, and um, I saw some improvements overall um, compared to the earlier version of Firefox 20.0.1. And including improved um, HTML5 capabilities. Um, however, Google Chrome still outperforms Firefox overall. Um, I use both browsers, Firefox and Google Chrome, and I find that some sites work better in Firefox as opposed to uh, Google Chrome. For example, I find um, Squidoo uh, much better, uh, that it works much better in Google Chrome. 
As I mentioned earlier, Mozilla updates, um, you know, the uh, Firefox browser approximately once every six weeks. And um, this is a brief review, obviously. However, if you'd like to read more about what's new uh, in the latest uh, stable release, you can click the link in the description section of this YouTube video and, uh, you know, um, read more about it. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, you know, you can leave them in the comment section. Cheers.